The Radeon RX 9070 XT and RX 9070 are both high-end GPUs from AMD, but they cater to slightly different performance needs. The RX 9070 XT features 64 compute units and 4096 stream processors, while the RX 9070 has 56 compute units and 3584 streaming CPUs. The XT also has higher base and boost clock speeds, which means faster rendering and better frame rates in demanding games. Both cards share 16GB of GDDR6 memory and 256-bit memory interface, so memory bandwidth is the same. However, the RX 9070 XT has higher total power draw, 304 watts versus 220 watts, requiring a more robust power supply. The RX 9070, being more energy efficient, is better suited for users with tighter power of cooling constraints. In terms of pricing, the XT model typically costs about $50 more at launch. Today, I have prepared for you comparative tests in 16 games. We have recorded them all nicely. Finally, we will have a small conclusion for 4K performance. The RX 9070 XT reach 105 FPS, while the RX 9070 follows closely at 95 FPS. Now, a more demanding title, the RX 9070 XT manages 44 FPS with the RX 9070 without XT at 40 FPS. Fast-paced and effective heavy returnal runs at 98 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 89 FPS on the RX 9070. Another demanding title, the RX 9070 XT delivers uh, 55 FPS and the RX 9070 manages 49 FPS at all. The high frame rates in this racing sim showcase both GPU's power, 175 on the RX 9070 XT and 167 FPS on the RX 9070 without XT. Strategy games benefit from smoother UI transition and animation. Here, the RX 9070 XT pulls 147 FPS, while the RX 9070 hits 133 FPS. This horror title runs at 114 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 101 FPS on the RX 9070 base model. In this game, both cards perform well, with the RX 9070 XT at 114 FPS and the RX 9070 at 108 FPS. Now, 
Known for pushing GPUs to the limit, Cyberpunk 2077 runs at 96 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 88 FPS on the RX 9070. This title benefits from GPU strength in large-scale battles. The RX 9070 XT hits 81 FPS, while RX 9070 trails at 72 FPS. One of the best optimized games in the list, it runs at 119 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 108 FPS on the RX 9070. This arena shooter runs at 74 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 67 FPS on the RX 9070 base model. Heavy weapons. Stay away from her. Demanding on hardware, Reverend 2 runs at 67 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 57 FPS on RX 9070. In this game, both GPUs fall short on 60 FPS, with the RX 9070 XT at 49 FPS and RX 9070 at 44 FPS. This RPG performs well on both cards, 74 FPS on the RX 9070 XT and 68 FPS on the RX 9070. A beautiful crafted world requires solid GPU power and here the RX 9070 XT runs at 104 FPS compared to the RX 9070's 85 FPS. Now that we have seen each game individually, it remains to summarize the performance in a few graphs. I will now show you two FPS graphs, one in numbers and other in percentages. The RX 9070 XT card is on average about 10% better in 2160p games. Alright, let's break down the cost and efficiency between the RX 9070 XT and the RX 9070, based on the real-world data from 16 modern games. When looking at current retail price, the RX 9070 delivers a cost per frame $7.59, while the RX 9070 XT comes in slightly higher at $7.70. That makes the regular 9070 just a bit more cost effective at today's market price. But if you can grab them at MSRP, the story changes. The RX 9070 XT averages 
$6.32 per frame, just edging out the RX 9070 base model which lands at $6.41. So at launch pricing, the XT actually gives you slight more performance for your money. Now, let's talk power on average across 16 games, the RX 9070 GPU consumes 237 watts, while the stronger RX 9070 XT draws a much higher 315 watts. That's a 78 watt difference, which could matter for your power supply and thermals. When it comes to efficiency, lower is better, and here the RX 9070 comes out on top. It uses just 2.77 watts per frame, while the XT uses 3.32 watts per frame. So, if energy user heat output is concerned, the RX 9070 is more efficient, efficient choice. To sum it up, at retail, the RX 9070 is more cost effective. At MSRP, if you can find the RX 9070 XT gives you slightly better value. But if you care about power efficiency, the RX 9070 wins that battle. Choose what fits your needs best. Raw performance or efficiency performance? Let me know in the comments which one you would go for. Thanks for watching. See you soon.